Hi there everybody, I'm here to tell you a little bit about hydraulic ram pumps. I've made a little model of one here, this is a one inch model of a hydraulic ram pump. I'm going to demonstrate how these great machines work. But a hydraulic ram pump only has two moving parts and if we have a quick look at this I will show you them. Come round here and we'll have a look at the little baby. Here we have, this is what we call the impetus valve. Now this I've used a brass swing check valve, which is available at your plumber's merchants, costs about eight or nine pounds. The other moving part is the non-return valve. Now I've used here, this is a plastic one, it has basically no springs in it, like some have, so you've got no springs to wear. It's just got basically a ball in there, which is basically like a marble, which goes up and down. The marble seats on a little rubber grommet thing in here, and that stops the water going back down. So. Those are the two moving parts. The other important bit is here, we have a little drilled hole with a pin in it. This is your sniffer valve, very important your sniffer valve. This sucks a bit more, a little bit of air in here to help pressurise the chamber. This is basically the pressure vessel here. We've used here 25 millimetre polypipes, caps off, it's just to be totally airtight this bit here. Now, these things will run in streams, so I haven't got a stream here for this demonstration, so we basically use a water butt over here, we've got a water butt up here, We've got 20 mil poly pipe. This is the drive pipe. They call it the drive pipe. Now they should be made of steel, so that that transmits the pressure wave much better. But unfortunately, we haven't got time to mess around with steel, so we use a poly pipe. So this, our water comes down here, enters in here, hits the back of here, slams this valve shut here, your swing gate valve, that gets slammed shut. Momentarily you've got a huge build up of pressure which can only go one way up. The non-return valve pressurises up in this vessel which has got a bit of air in here. It's basically compressed in here and is forced out through this T here and up and over and it can pump to great heights, you know, really basically it can pump six times your driven head. So we've got about a six foot head here so we could go six times that really. So we could go forty only need forty foot high basically, so or even higher, depending on your flow. This is a bit of a small flow. Anyway, we're going to fire her up to you. Let's go and fire her up. Turn her on. Turn the valve on. Now she's started pumping. If you have a good look, we can see the swing check valve. You come over the top of here. We can see the swing check valve shutting. They've got shut. And you can see here, don't get water on the lens please, you can see here there's a little water squirting out the snifter, it's sucking air in, that's the pulse. Now we're going to turn her on here now because we're pressurising this vessel and she's ready to go on. Here we go, turn that on. Now the water is now being pumped up and over that wall. Let's go around and have a look and see what we've got. Come on Vita, let's go and see what's coming out the other end. There we go, there we go. And here we are, watch the sun because it's not a very good picture of it. There we go, look at that, can you see that? We've got a good bit of pressure coming out here. There we go, look at that, how about that? Now these are great, great things, a hydraulic ram pump. It was um, first invented, I believe, by the by a, a man called John Wakehurst. I think his name was Wakehurst, I could be wrong, so I'm just trying to do it from memory. He invented it in the 1770s and then the Montgolfier brothers, who invented the hot air balloon, they improved the design, and then the pattern was brought out by by a man called Easton, I think his name was, and he brought it to Somerset, and they put them into production in the 1820s, and they've been made ever since then. They're made all over the world now, but there's a famous firm called Green and Cast that make them in Taunton in Somerset still. The design's hardly changed. They're made of heavy castings, these commercial ones, but ours is just a little model. And it, it works fine though, and you can use this if you've got a stream you can pump water. It's a great device. You can have another look. I mean, this 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 actual model here. This probably cost about forty pounds in parts to build, and that's not bad. Some of the big commercial ones they started about five six hundred pounds. But there you go. If you if you've got a little stream in a river near your house, and you want to raise water up to to water your garden. You can fill a big water tank with it, and you can draw pipes off. You can irrigate with it. It's free energy. You're pumping about. You, obviously, you lose this water. It's lost. You're pumping about 10%, and the rest just goes back into the stream. So it just, it's not really, it's not wasting water really, because you know it just goes back in the stream. There you go. Your hydraulic ram.